Hello and welcome to my how to use expression encoder screen capture. Yeah. So I'm telling you how to use screen capture. Okay. The first step is to open the screen capture software, obviously. There's the location for Windows 7 on the screen. Then you need to click on settings so we can change the settings to be much better to record with. Next, we need to move on and we need to change the settings to the ones displayed. Next, you'll want to select which devices you want the screen capture to be able to hear. A good one for this setting is to make sure that it can hear your speakers and your microphone if you're recording your voice. I would suggest also not having two, so if you've got a webcam, turn that one off. So, moving on to the next step, I'm watching the same as you in front of me now. Um, you want to adjust your... You want to adjust your hotkeys so that you're able to click it quickly. As you can see, those are mine. Control F1 to pause, Control F2 to stop, and zoom I just left because I didn't really... I don't really use that. Next, final step, which is really easy you're going to want to uh, click the record button from the uh, previous screen and this will happen, this will appear and you're going to want to pick what resolution you want it in so full screen or a resolution you can resize it manually if you like or move it around with the little thing in the middle and um, mine's obviously set to custom which is my full screen 1600 by 900 and that will give you brilliant recording it will probably stop after 10 minutes which is only a minor inconvenience just restart the recording again and it should go on for an indefinite amount of time so yep thank you for watching this very quick intro this intro to uh, using the software is meant to be watched with and alongside the uh, encoder 4 which is coming soon so see you later and